Hello, my name is Cindy Matalucci and you're watching The Pulse. And we're here at Cupcakes in La Jolla, the first organic cupcakery, cupcake lounge, and full-scale kitchen and party room. Today we're taking you inside their cooking series. We have certified raw organic food chef, Joy Houston. She's going to show us the foods to eat to give your skin that glow. Are you ready? Let's do it. Hi, I'm Cindy with the Pulse of San Diego, and I'm here with the gorgeous Joy Houston. How are you? Good. Thanks for coming to join us today. I'm so excited to be here. You're certified raw organic food chef. That's correct. The author That's of correct. Delicious Revolution. Right on. So you are like living <laughs> and breathing this lifestyle. Yes. Definitely. Um, but, you know, the great thing about living that way is that, you know, if we decide to go have wine and you want to have some brie and I'm going to have my salad, but I'll have a little bit of that. I'll taste that. I'll have a glass of wine. The, the great thing about living this way, the majority of the time, is it allows you the freedom to enjoy life and everything that comes across your culinary plate. So that's why I believe so strongly in it. Well, and how did you get involved in this? Tell us a little bit about your background. Oh, my gosh. I actually was labeled as infertile, and I am married to a man who's just one of those men who was born to be a dad. So you can imagine, it was really, it was devastating. You know, I thought about leaving him, I finally found love, and then here I was, you know, reaching for the back door, because I thought, oh no, how could I take that away from someone so amazing? Um, so I just got really curious, and I started digging and digging and getting all of the health tips and information that I could on what you could do to bring your body back to sort of function in its ideal way, including fertility. And of course, a lot of that is really just a really great lifestyle. It's eating a lot of whole fresh foods. Um, so I met this chef, charismatic, amazing, hilarious, um, father of two kids. And I thought, well, if he could do this raw food thing, I can do it, right? So I dove into it, fell in love with it, ended up going to the same culinary school that he did. Um, the Living Light Culinary Arts Institute, uh, got certified as a nutritionist in raw food because I noticed some people were not quite doing it right. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. You're putting the fun back into it. I love it. I was watching your video tutorials. I mean, rocking body. Everybody <laughs> wants that. The skin that glows. How did you come up with these names? And, and tell us a little bit about your classes. Well, to be honest, I just thought, well, what do I want? You know, what, what do I want? If I'm going to spend the time you know, cooking and working out and switching all my products to organic. What is it that I want? I want a rockin' body. Yeah. You know? and, and then healthy, happy hotties came because raw food can be so extreme that I found I was putting so much time into it. But when you try to make the dishes, you're like, okay, four days later, maybe I have a meal. So I fell sort of into that trap and I thought, oh my God, I'm amazingly healthy. I've gotten over all these health challenges. My body feels great. I feel great when I wake up but I'm kind of bitchy, honestly. <laughs> you know, like I, I don't eat, you know, it, my husband would joke with me, um, oh, she's on the superior diet. Like, oh, oh don't worry gosh. about feeding her. Sorry, she's that's on not the good enough for diet. me. I can't eat that. <laughs> exactly. And so that's when it sink in. Like, I need to chill out. I need to relax. Like, life's too short. And so Healthy Happy Hotties became all about how do we take that knowledge and make it really, really fun and really, really easy and taste really good. Because let's face it, you can get enough information about eating healthy on the friggin' internet. Exactly. You don't need anybody else to do it. What's hard is making it taste so good that your friends are like, how did you make that? You know, will you bring that to my next party? Those are the things that we want because we want the recognition for making food if we spent the time in the kitchen making it. The Pulse, and I'm here with Nino, the curator for Cups in La Jolla. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. So good to have you here today. So tell us a little bit about what you do with the culinary side for Cups. Um, we have a state-of-the-art cooking classroom in the back of this cupcake bakery. So it's like hidden. Super hidden, <laughs> but we want everybody to know um, know about it. It's such a hidden gem, and um, it's, a, it's a really nice facility back there. So what I do as the curator of Cups Culinary is um, I get to coordinate different cooking classes using uh, or working with some of the most awesome chefs in San Diego. And a lot of it's sustainable stuff that you guys do back there as well and organic and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, going along with, um, you know, Cups Organic being the, 
uh, the first passion um, and using, you know, it's very rare to have like an all organic bakery, um, especially in, maybe in the cupcake world. And um, so we care about the ingredients, we care about the stuff that we're putting in our body. There's so much bad stuff out there that people just don't know about. So I think, you know, Cups Culinary is a, is a great um, complement to Cups Organic because we get to teach people um, about that you're actually using and um, the horrible stuff out there. It's all about education. Exactly. Um, Learning what's good for your body, yeah, what's not. It's like you, you don't know, so you're scared. You don't know, so you, you, if you're not educated, you're scared of the word organic. If you're not educated, then um, you don't know what sustainable means. And it's so much better for you. And, you know, we're not crazy, like, people trying to push it on people. We just want to educate and then you can make this decision yourself. And you can still have a cupcake. It just has to be one that's good for you, right? You know, when you, <laughs> what we say here is when you feel like being bad, make sure that it's good.